All right, welcome back to our brand new clinic. And today we're gonna to continue on from the videos we did with Fran, our senior physio, about lifting. Now today's one is about lifting something heavy off the floor. Now that could be a box, like a moving box, or it could be a baby even. Um, we're gonna teach you what position you need to be in how to work on your breathing and what you need to work on with your neutral spine or the position of your spine in this scenario. So if you imagine that is gonna be something heavy, we're using a Swiss ball today, clearly that's light, but this is gonna be items up to, you know, around about 30 kilos perhaps. Um, you shouldn't probably be lifting anything more than sort of 30, 40 kilos by yourself, this box. If it's a box, if it's 40, 50 kilos, it's probably too heavy by yourself. Even though people train, you know, lifting 30, 40 kilos, they don't do it directly off the floor. So for this scenario, imagine that's around maximum 30 kilos, and we're gonna get Fran to try and lift that. Now, the way she needs to position herself is wide feet, okay? So the wider the base, the better you're gonna be with, as far as stability, and as well, when she squats down, the wider, if her hips have, need to be wider in alignment, then she'll get deeper range into the squat or into the deadlift position. So if she drops down, what you've got to work on is being as close to that ball as you can. So the ball is as center or close to her as possible, not out in front. So if you slowly go down, she's gonna go down to what we call a deadlift type position, okay? So whereas a squat, she's gonna be more upright, and a deadlift, she has to be over that ball to try and grab it, okay? So she is gonna be forward. Now the interesting part about this is, she needs to get as low as possible, get your hands to her. She's gonna to have to drop down almost hips below knees at some point. Now at that point, she's probably gonna butt wink or round her lower spine at this point here. Now that is okay if she's lifting something once. What I don't like to see is people butt winking and dropping down like that and rounding that spine repetitively if they're doing lifting in the gym, okay? So if she was doing deadlifts in the gym or squats in the gym and she is repeatedly lifting something like that, okay, like at a bar in front or kettlebells in front, she doesn't want to be going that deep. There's no point for her to go that deep to get depth for strengthening of the quads and the glutes if she's going to round her spine out with a weight load in front, okay. Repetitive stuff like that is the risk, just a recipe for injury. So when you're lifting something heavy once, of course you have to get that low, and it's okay to get down there as long as you're bracing, and as long as it's a one-off type movement, okay? So, if she comes down, at this point there, her core needs to be on. So meaning, she needs to be doing that quick breath out, drifting her pelvic floor up and in, and then as she comes up, she needs to grab on there, keeps that nice straight back as she comes up. So all the power comes from hips and knees, drop down again for me into that position there. Now, if she wants to go lower, again, it's okay to drop down a little bit. She needs to brace at that point before she lifts. And I'd almost do a little bit of a look up when she goes, and up she goes into that position, okay? And you can see all the drive came from the legs. It didn't come from lifting up the back. So let's show you something how you can do it wrong. So if you go down again, that was wrong. Did you see that when she bent forward? <laughs> so let's try that again. So drop down again. Now, lifting that wrong would be trying to come up and arching the back. So at that point there, can you see that? Okay, so she tried to lift her bum first and then wrench through her back. So she's got to make sure, drop down again, that she doesn't lift the hips too early and then try and round the back. You don't want to be in that position. What you want to do is have that stable and drive from there and drive from there. Those two points are the actual points of anchor, okay? So those, that's the best way of lifting something that's really heavy. Um, and remember, in the gym, try not to lower that, round that lower spine, so don't go so deep in the gym. The one-offs are okay. See you next time.